Good morning, loved ones. I hope you had a good night to sleep. I absolutely didn't. Gemma is getting her teeth and um, and she's crying all night. Like um, it's it's been a bit of a a, a few nights with um, with a bit of a um, challenging sleeping procedure. Um, it's also very very warm. Oh. And it's midsummer today. It's uh, it's midsummer. I just told my patrons. I I think I forgot to tell you. Happy midsummer! It's the best day of the year in Sweden, and I really haven't slept well. So so we were supposed to go to our friends, um, but my partner and my my daughter are both. Um, they haven't been that good and um and now they're um better but uh, our friends that we were gonna visit have a four month old so we really don't want to take any chances uh with you know getting her sick so so we're staying home and um and we also got our house back because the people that were supposed to rent it um were stuck in the us um which we found out you know a bit late so uh, it's been a bit of a an annoyance going on <laughs> but um but it is what it is uh we're very happy to be, be back home and um this morning we started with a swim in our neighbor's pool uh so Gemma, that is feeling much better today got to swim a little bit and now after this class i'm going to uh, take a dip but we came just now i'm like sweaty from it from dancing around the maypole so we found this place here where we live in Stockholm and that has this traditional dance around the maypole. So, um, so I'm going to share that, you know, in today's class, a bit of the tradition. Um, as I've said before, you know, it's, it's about, you know, um, I believe, you know, praising nature and, and get, you know, a good uh, harvest for the year. And therefore, you know, you, you um, do these rituals to celebrate fertility, which is, you know, symbolized with a giant penis, you know, getting into the ground and then you dance around it. So that's what we've done today with our nine month old. <laughs> and uh, and uh, not just us, you know, tons and tons of sweets all over the country is doing the same thing. And it's, it's such a beautiful thing with, you know, flower crowns and, uh, um, all these fantastic, funny uh, dances and songs uh, I will share a few of them with you after. Um, okay, let's uh, get down on our sitting beds and straighten the back up. Now, so I'm very, very grateful today to have, you know, celebrated Gemma's first midsummer with a proper dance around the Maypole. I was a bit worried now when we couldn't, you know, go to our friend's place that um, that we wouldn't uh, have a celebration, but we, we organized that. Um, we also had this uh, wonderful like um, herring lunch uh, with uh, with my boyfriend's parents, and I'm very grateful that we we kept you know the traditions going. I'm also very grateful for wonderful neighbors. We started off the day you know in, in our, our closest neighbor's pool, and then uh, later today we're gonna walk our, our uh, two doors away uh, their dogs, <laughs> and I love that. You know, I think it's such a beautiful um, atmosphere in the street that you help each other out, and uh, and it becomes a beautiful community. I'm very very grateful to be part of that. Um, now let's do some midsummer's dancing and yoga. So start with getting down on your sitting bones and straighten your back up. Close your eyes and focus on the area between your eyebrows, the third eye looking inwards. Let this eye help you observe what's going on in your body and in your mind.
We're gonna start taking control over our breath. On the inhalation, feel how your belly is expanding. On the exhalation, drag your belly button towards the spine. We're gonna do the breath of fire. We do that by pushing our belly button towards the spine, quick and hard. Inhale, two, three. Very good job. We're going to do the hip roll. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Inhale. Exhale back. Penny. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Penny. Switch direction. Very good job. Let's start with the most important, you know, um, dance for midsummer. It's called uh, the frog, the little frog. Um, it's um, it's like this. Små grodorna, små grodorna, är lustiga att se. Små grodorna, små grodorna, är lustiga att se. Ej öron, nej öron, nej svansar har vad det. Ej öron, nej öron, nej svansar har vad det. Koa kaka, koa kaka, koa kaka kaka. Koa kaka, koa kaka, koa kaka kaka. And then you go, like you do this like around the maple, but you actually like walk and you do this. And um, and then it's like, um, hmm. Tre små gummor skulle gå en gång. And then you like jump like this with your feet. But you do this standing up, so I can't really show you. But that is the midsummer tradition in Sweden. So let's come to the frog from here to celebrate our Swedish tradition. And breathe. And smile.
Bravo, bravo, bravo. Very good job. I have dirty feet, so I've been dancing barefoot. Um, so place your uh, right foot towards your left thigh. We're gonna do forward bend, straighten up and exhale. So if you get the chance to ever celebrate Midsummer in Stockholm, go for it. It's amazing. It's really fantastic. As soon as I'm done with this, I'm going to take a swim in the ocean. I can't wait. It's so hot. And that's very rare on midsummer. Another tradition, you know, that is like not as amazing as the maypole dancing is uh, the going in and out. Because since it's like the brightest day of the year and blah, 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 you always want to be outside for the lunch. And it's always raining. But since we're Swedish and, you know, we're very stubborn, we like, we, we sit outside and like, oh, maybe we're lucky. Maybe we're going to, you know, manage the lunch without the rain. And then in the middle of the lunch, it always starts raining and you have to run inside. And then if the sun comes out again, you run out again. So that's like what midsummer's lunch looks like. You run back and forth. <laughs> but today we didn't have to do that because the weather is absolutely stunning. Uh, inhale, come up. And that's extremely rare. I think maybe it happened once before in my whole life and I am 40, you know, <laughs> that's how unusual it is. But I've celebrated also Midsummer in many places. Uh, once in Montauk, outside of New York, uh, in Los Angeles of the uh, Petit Hermitage at, uh, in West Hollywood and um, yeah, quite many different places in the world. Uh, France, maybe Italy <laughs> and and it's always you know it's almost funny to celebrate with the foreigners because they find the tradition so funny uh, for us it's just like every other summer you know but it is beautiful let's uh, let's do a short meditation and then I'm gonna go swimming close your eyes focus on the area between your eyebrows the third eye looking inwards let this eye lead you to the area around your heart. In this area, you find an inner room where you're going to spend some time just for yourself. There is nothing that has been and nothing that will come. It's only you in this moment. Pandu. 
japaya klishta klishta place your palms to your forehead feet is pinked foot through the to your mouth feet feet to and to your heart feet to follow your heart and to be kind to yourself and other people namaste I think we forgot the the shanties to okay for one day. Um, sing Smagrodana instead. You know the little frogs in Swedish it's Smagrodana. Do you want me to do that? I'll do that for my patrons, the Swedish version. <laughs> I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.